Right now, tens of thousands of travelers going nowhere fast. Thousands of flights canceled, delayed, and rerouted. I'm going to have an extremely upset wife, and I don't know how to deal with that just yet. Tomorrow's my birthday. We're supposed to be at Disney World. And, uh... <laughs> Now we're driving to Indianapolis to fly out of there tomorrow. You can see it here on Flight Tracker software. A huge gap in air traffic over Chicago, showing a hole in the sky that's normally full of aircraft. You are looking at Palm Beach International Airport, where right now the ripple effect continues. That's right. News Channel 5's Jeff Scrippe joins us live at Palm Beach International Airport tonight with the nightmare travel story. Jeff. Well, Jay and Kelly, some of the travelers we spoke with this evening should be landing right now here at Palm Beach International Airport. Instead, they, like thousands of others, are stranded in Chicago. They're hoping tomorrow these arrivals and departures leaving Palm Beach International stay on time and they can finally make it to their destination. A quick look around Palm Beach International, and you would realize it's been an awful day for flyers. A fire in the basement of an air traffic control tower at Chicago's O'Hare, grounding hundreds of flights across the country and instantly creating every traveler's worst nightmare. It was just wall to wall people. Stephen Pearl should be flying into West Palm Beach tonight to celebrate his grandson Noah's seventh birthday in Stewart. Instead, he's still thousands of miles away. Yeah, it's upsetting because it took away from our time a whole day. Pearl says he tried everything to get on a flight to see this little guy. He even offered to drive to neighboring Indiana. No luck. Just nothing worked. Nothing clicked today. While inside, Pearl says it got chaotic. No one seemed to know if it was an isolated incident or possibly terrorism. This is a local issue with a, a contract employee and nothing else. Local police ensuring flyers they're safe, saying the 36-year-old FAA contract employee who stabbed himself and set the fire is getting treatment. Hey, it's exciting, but it's not Pearl says he's not worried about boarding his plane on Saturday and has a message for the birthday boy he's missing right now. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And my granddaughter. I'll see them tomorrow. No doubt about that. I'm very optimistic. Now, we are getting word that flights are slowly starting to resume at both of Chicago's airports. Meanwhile, if you are planning on flying out tomorrow here at Palm Beach International Airport or expecting someone to fly into PBIA, go ahead and check those flights to make sure they're on time. Reporting live tonight here in suburban West Palm Beach, I'm Jeff Skrypek, WPTV News Channel 5.